For an upstart or rapidly growing business, buying used industrial equipment can cut costs and in some cases even speed up lead times. In this video, we're going to weigh some pros and cons of used and new overhead crane systems. Welcome to the Lifting and Rigging channel. My name is Devin and today we're going to discuss new and used overhead crane systems. For business owners who are handcuffed by a budget or maybe looking to cut costs entirely, a used overhead crane system might seem like a perfect solution for their material handling needs. However, not all industrial equipment can easily be retrofitted from one application to another. Due to their installation, most customers are unaware that businesses even sell used overhead crane systems. Like anything, some options are better than others and you should always do your research prior to buying used cranes or hoist equipment. Typically, you can buy used cranes or hoist equipment through used industrial machine brokers, equipment or heavy machine options, scrap or salvage yards, or third-party sellers on sites like Craigslist or eBay. An equipment broker should allow you to come on site to see and inspect the crane equipment or hire a third party expert to inspect it on your behalf. You'll also want to find a reputable company that is honest and ethical and it has a solid online review process and can provide you with references. You'll want to work with a company who regularly inspects and or refurbishes the equipment that they receive prior to selling it. A broker may not know the full history or service life of a crane, but they should be upfront about the condition of the equipment before they let you buy it. Here are a few questions to ask. How old is the overhead crane system? If it's nearing the end of its service life, it might not make financial sense to invest in that piece of aging equipment. How often was that crane system in use? The broker may not have a lot of information, but you should try to get some idea of the duty cycle or service classification by understanding how it was used and how often it was used. Are they selling you all of their major components? Are the bridge, trolley, hoist, and in trucks included? What kind of electrification system does it use? Are runway and support beams available or will you need to have a runway system fabricated? If the runway and other structural supports are available, what kind of condition is that steel in? Is the runway a freestanding system or designed to tie back into the building supports? Does the system power on? Are the electrical and mechanical systems in good working condition? Are there maintenance records available from the previous owner? Similar to buying a used vehicle, you'll want to understand if the crane system and the components were regularly inspected and serviced in accordance with industry and manufacturer standards. Now that you know what to look for, let's do a quick comparison of new versus used cranes. If you buy a new crane from an overhead crane manufacturer, there will be a higher cost up front. You're paying for additional services like engineering, materials and components, project management, fabrication, freight, delivery, installation, the initial startup, the load testing of the equipment, and more. However, most overhead crane manufacturers offer turnkey systems and will manage the project from first consultation through installation. When you receive the quote from the manufacturer, all or most of the services listed will be included in that project proposal. If not, you can ask the manufacturer to include them in their proposal or provide you with an estimate. For a used overhead crane, the initial investment will be significantly less. However, you're really only saving on the cost of the equipment and the components itself. There are a number of other expenses that you may have to factor in, coordinate, and budget for. Repairing or replacing components that are missing or don't work properly. Engineering study to determine proper duty cycle and service class of the individual components and the system as a whole. A structural survey to determine if your building and or foundation can support this crane system. The pickup and delivery of the crane to your facility. Installation, inspection, and or testing of the installed crane system prior to startup. These additional costs can run into the thousands if not tens of thousands of dollars that you may not have accounted for. And there's really no guarantee that this crane will be a reliable solution for your material handling needs. Also availability. Depending on the design and complexity of a new overhead crane, it can take up to 12 months to design, source the components, fabricate, and install your crane system. When buying a new over a crane system, you can expect to invest significant time and energy into the following processes. Initial consultation with crane manufacturers, gathering and comparing crane quotes, reviewing and revising approval drawings, preparing for delivery and installation, startup configuration, and employee training. Fortunately, when you partner with a reliable over a crane manufacturer, they take care of a lot of the legwork for you and will walk you through the process step by step. Engineering and duty cycle. Selecting the right crane service class and duty cycle for an overhead crane is critical for a customer who's trying to balance the initial investment of a crane with the cost of future maintenance of that crane. 
When you buy a used crane, it's likely that you're not going to have a true picture of what that application was originally designed for, or any specifications on the components. If you purchase a crane that's underspecified for your lifting application, it'll result in a lower initial investment, but will cost you more in maintenance and downtime throughout the service life. If you buy a system that was originally designed for a heavier duty application, that might work out in your favor. You just need a clear understanding of how it was used, how often it was used, and what type of service life is remaining on components like the brakes, motors, and drives. Another important consideration is to understand the condition of the equipment you'll receive when you buy a used overhead crane. If you can buy from a reputable seller, they should allow you or a third party to come on site and evaluate the condition of their equipment prior to buying. Try and get an understanding of the environment that the crane is coming from. Was it sitting in a vacant building for a long time and needs to be decommissioned? Was it taken apart and stored outside where it was exposed to environmental conditions? Or is it sitting somewhere in a storage facility or warehouse? A reputable seller or broker may even be able to put power to it so you can see how the electrical and mechanical systems operate. This will allow you to see how the motor and operator controls work and give you an idea of any additional work that may need to be performed to make the system fully functional. As I mentioned earlier, when you buy a used overhead crane, you're responsible for coordinating a lot of the logistics. You'll most likely need to arrange for a flatbed truck to pick up the crane system from the seller and transport it to your facility. You should also source a reputable crane dealer, local crane service provider, or find a rigging or erection service company who can assemble and install your crane into your building. Once that system is up on the runway and fully supported, you'll want to have a full crane inspection performed for OSHA, ASME, and CMAA compliance. Whether you buy a new crane or a used overhead crane, you'll have to have the crane inspected and tested. A third-party testing company may be brought in to perform the test and ensure that the crane will operate safely and productively. Buying a new overhead crane system will provide you with the highest level of post-sale service, support, and peace of mind. When you partner with a reputable crane manufacturer, all of the individual systems are specified for the lifting application and backed by a 5-10 to 10 year warranty should any non-wearable system components break down prematurely. Used overhead crane equipment may come with a limited 30-day warranty or no warranty at all. Most used equipment is sold with an understanding that you're receiving the crane as is and any repairs or modifications are the responsibility of the buyer. With a new crane, you'll have the full support of the manufacturer and any of the vendors they use. Post-sale and post-installation, there's usually a window that allows for the manufacturer to offer on-site support for troubleshooting, to help dial in the controls and operation of your crane, and to train your employees on how to use the new crane system or equipment effectively. If you buy used crane equipment, you're on your own to try and track down a service provider that can troubleshoot issues and who may carry repair parts should anything break down or wear out prematurely. Whether you're buying a new overhead crane system or a used overhead crane system, you'll only get as much out of the system as you put into it. If you do your research, partner with a reputable supplier, and you understand how you'll be using it, you should get a reliable system that will improve production efficiencies. If you're buying on cost alone and think you can make it work, you'll likely end up with more headaches and potential unsafe and problematic crane system issues. I hope this video was able to give you a better understanding of some of the pros and cons with buying a new or used overhead crane system. If you're considering making an upgrade to your facility, feel free to reach out to one of our lifting specialists for an overhead crane consultation. They'd be happy to help you, to meet with you, and discuss the future growth of your business and how an overhead crane system might be exactly what you need. If you like this video, don't hesitate to like it and share it with your peers and coworkers or anybody that you think might benefit from this training or might be considering an overhead crane system. And if you haven't already, we welcome you to become a subscriber to the Lifting and Rigging channel so you don't miss out on any of the videos that we make each and every week. Thank you for watching, we'll see you next time.